Hi, it's Anna Kaisa. Today we're focusing on spinal health. Have your yoga blanket or something similar around and let's begin. Thank you so much for joining me for this quick yoga class focusing on spinal health. We'll be bending the spine forward, backward, sideways and also twisting the spine so that we can open, strengthen and energize the spine. Let's start with a quick warm up. Shoulder rotations. Move the shoulders rather than the elbows and squeeze, reverse, squeeze the muscles, the shoulders and feel how you're bringing blood into the joint and into the muscles surrounding the shoulder joint. Great. Few wrist rotations. Let's stretch the wrist a little bit. Pull your fingers toward you and switch. Good. Now come into tabletop position. We'll do some cat cow stretches. Your knees are hip width apart, right underneath your hips. Your hands shoulder width apart, right under your shoulders. Let's begin the movement in the pelvis. Let's inhale, start tilting the pelvis forward and arc your back backwards. Don't let your neck jackknife. Exhale, and now bring the pelvis in and the tailbone between your legs and come into your cat stretch forward bend inhale again starting with the pelvis tilting it forward letting the movement go up the spine until you reach the head and the neck exhale bring the tailbone in between your legs and stretch forward Inhale. And exhale. Go at your own pace. This exercise is really excellent for the health of the spine also improves your awareness of the spine. And now exhale, come back into your tabletop position. We are ready to begin with the first pose, which is Baddha Konasana, the seated angle pose. For this, I'm going to utilize a blanket so I suggest you do the same. Helps keep the back straight. I'll show it from the side view, easier for you to see. So sit at the edge of the blanket, bring the soles of the feet together. And here you can bring the feet close to the groin, or if it's more comfortable, find the optimal location for them. If it's uncomfortable for you to have your knees hovering, you can always place some uh, blankets or something to support the knees. We can wrap the hands around the toes or place them at the ankles. And here in the first active phase of the pose, let's keep the back straight. 
Reach up through the crown of your head. As you inhale, lengthen upward and exhale. Fold forward from the hips, but keep your back straight. So go only as far as you can go without bending the spine. So for a lot of people like me, the movement is quite small. This is also why we're sitting at the edge of the blanket. It helps keep the back straight here. With each inhalation, lengthen up. And with each exhalation, see if you can fold more forward at the hips. If you have any spinal issues or injuries, stay here for the entire duration of the pose. And do not go into the second relaxation phase in which we bend the spine. Now let's inhale one more time. And if your back is healthy, let the back round over your legs. You can keep your hands at the toes or on the floor or wherever they land comfortably. And don't pull yourself deeper into the stretch with your hands. Let the upper body Relax. Breathe. Forward bends open the spine. Now bring your awareness to the base of the spine. This pose opens this area at the space of the spine. It's the area of the first and second chakras where we have our security, our loyalty. All our attachments as well. Use the affirmation to help release energy in this area. Mentally affirm, secure in myself, I accept whatever is. Secure in myself, I accept whatever is. Inhale, as you work yourself back up, and you can release your legs and find a comfortable seated position to enjoy the effects of this pose. Consciously draw this energy from the base of the spine, up the spine, up to the point between the eyebrows, our center of joy, our creativity, our concentration. Now let's set the blanket aside. Lay down on the mat on your belly. We'll go into Shalabhasana, the locust pose. Bring your arms alongside your body, palms facing the body. Press your pubic bone on the floor. Inhale. Lift your legs, your chest, and your arms up. And breathe naturally. Reach up and forward through the crown of your head and back with your toes. Feel as if you're lifting off and soaring up in the skies. 
with no cares, no worries. If you'd like to challenge yourself, you can bring your arms in front of you. Mentally affirm, I soar upward on wings of joy. Exit, inhale, and exhale. Release back down on the floor. Pause for a moment to feel and enjoy the effects of this pose. Continue to bring energy inward and upward. And now let's push ourselves up. Bring your blanket back. If you'd like to use it under your knees for cushioning. Our next pose is Parigasana, the gate pose. Come into kneeling on the blanket. Stretch the left leg to the side. Your foot is right to the side or at the, at the level of the knee. And push down with your left foot. Or if it's uncomfortable, you can point the toes upward. Keep your spine tall and only lightly rest your left hand on your left leg. Inhale, circle your right arm up Exhale and bend to the left, folding at the hip so that you can keep your right leg vertical. Don't let your spine twist or bend forward or backward. Imagine you're in between two panes of glass. Tuck your pelvis in if you have tendency for sway back. And breathe. Reach up through the crown of your head and invite energy up the spine. Mentally affirm. Waves of joy surge upward in my spine. Waves of joy. Surge upward in my spine. And let's inhale, Shrink, straighten up, exhale, relax your arm down, bring your leg in. And let's rest in Vajrasana, the firm pose, or any other comfortable seated position. And enjoy the effect of this pose. Sideways bends, open the spine laterally. They also open the breathing. So take note of, of how the breathing is going. If it's easy or difficult to breathe. And the other side. Come into kneeling. And now bring the right leg to the side, keeping the left thigh vertical. Lightly place your right hand on the thigh. Inhale. Stretch tall. Exhale. Fold at the hip and bend to the right. Face your left hand at the 
foot and relax the shoulder. If you have any shoulder discomfort, you can bring your hand at the hip or at the heart. Imagine your left hand is a magnet for energy, inviting it up the spine to the brain. Continue to mentally affirm waves of joy surge upward in my spine. If your neck is healthy, you can turn the head to look up past the upper arm. Waves of joy surge upward in my spine. Let's inhale. Come back to upright, exhale, and relax your left arm down. Find a comfortable seated position and pause and feel. Take note of your breath. Has anything changed in the quality of your breath and your breathing? can continue to mentally affirm waves of joy surge upward in my spine great now what's left the twist for the spine so let's continue to use our blanket at the edge of your blanket or whatever you have. Bring the right foot to the left buttocks. Here you can leave your left foot on the inside of the knee on this side or you can also place it on the other side of the knee. But here make sure your left hip is not coming off the blanket. So make sure your weight is evenly distributed on both sit bones. You can also keep this leg straight if that feels better for you. So many variations for this. Find your favorite, most comfortable way. You can have your right hand on the knee and place your left hand behind your back to help you keep your back straight so it's like a kickstand here you can also just place it behind your back and keep it relaxed inhale and lengthen the spine upward exhale now begin to twist to the left first the lower back then the upper back and finally the neck Keep your back tall and breathe smoothly and naturally. This pose is wonderful for opening the heart center where we have all our emotions, especially compassion and love. So let's awaken those feelings with the affirmation. Mentally affirm. I radiate love and goodwill to soul friends everywhere. I radiate love and goodwill to soul friends everywhere. Now let's exit, inhale, lengthen your spine, exhale, 
rotate your head back, then your upper back, and then your lower back, back to center. Pause in any comfortable seated position. I like to utilize Victoria's pose. Keep your awareness in your spine. Lift energy from your spine up to the brain and the point between the eyebrows. And let's move on to the other side. I like to switch sides so that you can see better what I'm doing. So now let's reverse the leg and foot position. Find your favorite. And check that your weight is evenly distributed on both sit bones. Place your hand behind you, either as a kickstand or just simply touching the lower back Inhale, lengthen the spine up. Exhale, first rotate the lower back, then the upper back, and finally the neck to the right. Keep your shoulders level as well. Don't use your hands to pull yourself deeper into the twist. Twists are wonderful for spinal health, especially the little discs in between the vertebra. So it's a really great idea to do twists every time you do yoga. Awaken the energies of the heart and mentally affirm, I radiate love and goodwill to soul friends everywhere. Exit, inhale, lengthen the spine up. Exhale, rotate the neck and the upper back and then the lower back to face forward. Find a comfortable seated position to pause and feel. note of what's going on in the body, especially in the spine. Lift your energy up to the point between the eyebrows. Now let's finish with a brief meditation. This is also a very good place to do an inversion if you have more time, such as the bridge pose or the simple inverted pose or a shoulder stand. Eventually I'll have all those videos posted as a single pose video so that you can have more information and more instruction on how to do them safely and comfortably.
Also, Matsyasana, the fish pose, is a good, good one to do. It's, that is an inversion and that I do have a video out already. So let's close our eyes. Sit with a straight, tall spine and relax your body. Uplift your gaze behind closed eyes. Each of us has their own perspective to life. We are all the center of our own universe. Of course, we inhabit this body, we move this body, we see everything through this body, wherever the body happens to be. So now let's try to see ourselves through the eyes of someone else. Imagine you are your best friend. What do you see when you look at yourself through the eyes of your best friend? Would your friend criticize you or judge you? Or would they encourage you, support you, comfort you? So often we speak so harshly to ourselves. We expect ourselves to be perfect when in fact it's not possible to be perfect. Try to talk to yourself more like your best friend would. See all your good qualities rather than your weaknesses. Focus on your good qualities and cultivate them. Focusing on your weaknesses is only useful if you're aiming to improve on them. Now let's broaden our awareness. Imagine you're in the ceiling looking down on the room. Now, oh, go even higher, go outside, see the house you're in, see the neighborhood. See your entire town or city. Notice all the problems becoming smaller. And when you see people walking on the street or through their windows, look at them with compassion. Now let's keep going higher and higher until we see our earth, its blue seas and oceans, green forests, sandy deserts, and snowy white mountain peaks. Keep going higher until the earth becomes only a little star, a speck of light in the distance.
See all the stars around you, the galaxies, their beautiful light. And feel this immeasurable peace and stillness all around you. Sit in stillness for a few moments. Let's take a deep breath in and out. Gently open your eyes. Thank you for joining me for this short class to promote the health of your spine. Thank yourself too for being here and taking care of yourself. I hope you enjoyed this class and I'd love to hear how it went, what you think, if you have any feedback or any requests. And of course, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I look forward to seeing you again soon.